flying straight for us. Is it a hawk? An owl. Deep down, we all wish that an owl would deliver us a letter or give us advice on a quest. If you're going to lie to an all-knowing spirit being, you should at least put some effort into it. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fictional owls in movies and TV. For this list, we're taking a look at pop culture owls that stand out due to their wisdom, loyalty, and wit. Number 10. Wan Shi Tong, Avatar The Last Airbender. I know you're back there. The world of Avatar has given us some of the most imaginative creatures in all of animation. One of the most memorable being Wan Shi Tong, a giant owl who amasses information in his library. Are you the spirit who brought this library to the physical world? Indeed. I am Wan Shi Tong, he who knows 10,000 things. Proclaiming himself as an all knowing spirit, he looks down on mortals as lesser beings that are only driven by violence. He's not entirely wrong, as even the heroes of Avatar seek out his library to win a war. Neither a good guy nor bad, Wan Shi Tong will protect his library's knowledge by any means necessary. Please, we're just desperate to protect the people we love. And now, I am going to protect what I love. What are you doing? I'm taking my knowledge back. Number 9. Bubo, Clash of the Titans. Golden Owl. <laughs> It's said that Hephaestus, the god of metalworking, forged Bubo the owl. Film buffs know, however, that this golden mechanical owl was really brought to life by Ray Harryhausen, the god of stop motion. Don't worry, my little friend. Sounding like a hooting R2-D2, Bubo is sent by Athena to assist Perseus in his rescue of Princess Andromeda. Bubo, the eye! Go to the eye! Bubo is always there to show Perseus the way, and even help him defeat the Kraken. Over 30 years after Clash of the Titans came out, though, we still don't have a flying, fully functional Bubo toy. Somebody please make this. Number 8. Sorin, Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul. I'm Sorin. Sorin is one bird that usually has his head in the sky, spending most of his carefree days dreaming about the legendary owls of Gahul. And lies of Kiel, Sorin, and I have assembled my own army, but, the Guardians of Gahul! But Sorin! I've sworn an oath to make strong the weak, at, mend the broken, and vanquish evil! Oh. The simple owl is swooped away on the adventure of a lifetime when he is kidnapped by an army of evil owls. You told us you'd bring all the guardians. Uh, they're not guardians. Sorin. They have no chance against the Flex. Refusing to let his captors break his spirit, Sorin takes flight with a band of misfit owls to find the guardians. What are we gonna do now, Sorin? We're gonna find the guardians of Gahul. In dark times of uncertainty, Sorin acts as a beacon of hope that encourages his fellow owls to keep fighting and flying. Come on, Sorin. That was exemplary. But we're not finished yet, boy. Number 7. Friend Owl, Bambi. Oh, what now? While he might get a little cranky when others make a racket, Friend Owl is a genuinely friendly owl, as his name suggests. Seemingly the only owl in the forest, Friend Owl is a reclusive bachelor who enjoys his solitude. You know, just the other day, I was talking to myself about you, and we were wondering what had become of you. He always has time to share a cheerful conversation with the young prince of the forest, though. Since Bambi's mother is dead and his father is an absent loner, Friend Owl takes it upon himself to give him the sex talk. Or the Twitter-pated talk, as he would put it. Why, don't you know? They're Twitter-pated. Twitter-pated? Twitter -pated. Yes. 
Nearly everybody gets Twitter painted in the springtime. Number six, Big Mama, the Fox, and the Hound. It's all right. Big Mama's here. After Todd's mother is given the classic Disney parent send off. This owl with the sassy voice of Pearl Bailey takes the little fox under her wing. You're gonna need some caring for. Even when the kindly old widow Tweed adopts Todd, Big Mama still keeps a watchful eye on him. Like any caring mammy, Big Mama helps Todd deal with romance, friendship, and the inevitability of growing up. We'll keep on being friends forever. Uh, won't we, Big Mama? Darling, forever is a long, long time, and time has a way of changing things. She's also very upfront with Todd about the dangers of hunters and where a lack of education will land him. Don't you move, honey. Big Mama's gonna be right back. Number five, Mr. Owl, the Tootsie Pop commercial. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? Mr. Cow, Mr. Fox, and Mr. Turtle never finished a Tootsie Pop without biting. But surely Mr. Owl can tell this nude boy how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop. Apparently, it takes three. One, two, three, three. Either that or Mr. Owl is just a smart aleck who doesn't know Jack. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a smart owl. That's probably not even his mortar board. In any case, his classic line is the reason this commercial is still going strong over four decades later, and why the world is still plagued by this question. The world may never know. Number four, the great owl, the secret of Nim. I'm not even afraid of, of, of the great owl. Will you hush up? I, you hush. The Secret of Nim was definitely one of the darkest animated movies of the 80s, truly treating its audience like adults. Owls eat mice. Uh, only after dark. A particularly intimidating scene is when Mrs. Brisby seeks the aid of the great owl. Why have you come? With a booming voice that echoes through his tree hole and eyes that shine like lanterns, the great owl is a beast as wide as he is gritty. You must move to a place where it'll be safe from the plow. Please, there must be another way. There is no other way. Although he's only on screen for one scene, he leaves a dominating impression that will stick with you well after the movie is over. Remember, the lee of the storm. Number three, Owl, the Winnie the Pooh franchise. There's Rabbit and Piglet and there's Owl, but most of all, Winnie the Pooh. A bit like the Fraser Crane of the Hundred Acre Wood, Owl is wise, sophisticated, dignified, and enjoys entertaining his unintellectual friends. Thing to do is as follows. First, issue a reward to take. the... I beg your pardon? Why are you snazed? Just as you were going to tell me what the first thing to do was. That being said, he also has a somewhat large ego, often prattling away with life stories that clearly bore everyone else. Good. That will just give me time to tell you about my Uncle Clyde, a very independent bar now. He <laughs> didn't give a hoot for tradition. He isn't quite as smart as he makes himself out to be, however, constantly misreading situations and making spelling mistakes. W-O-L. That spells owl. Bless my soul, so it does. Even if he is occasionally misguided, Owl loves to give his friends advice and lend a helping wing. Owl, you fly over to Piglet's house and tell him we'll make a rescue. A rescue? Yes, yes, of course. Number two, Archimedes, the sword in the stone. Who? Who? I'd like to know who. You can probably tell from this list that Disney has a knack for creating wonderful owl characters. Archimedes, I'll turn you into a human. You <laughs> wouldn't dare. I will, so help me, I will. Well, all right, all right, all right. 
Their absolute best is Archimedes, a talking owl who's sarcastic, cynical, and closed-minded, despite the fact that his master is a wizard. Uh, my name is Merlin, and uh, this is uh, Archimedes, the highly educated owl. <coughs> Named after the Greek philosopher, Archimedes takes great pleasure in shooting Merlin down every time he fumbles. Uh, Archimedes, uh, would you mind sailing down there and... and uh... Not interested. Nevertheless, the judgmental owl does have a soft spot for old Merlin and the young boy who would become king through their guidance. Help! 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 Before we soar over to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Help would be spread the word. Never be a dirty bird. Sing a song about old friends. Why not sing about having a sax to play? It can't be bad. I'm Mr. Owl. You must be Franklin and Snail. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good night, Owl. Oh. Number one, Hedwig, the Harry Potter franchise. Ever since she was given to Harry on his 11th birthday, this snowy owl has faithfully stood by the boy who lived. Hedwig, there we go. Whether he needs a crucial letter delivered or someone to talk to, Harry can always count on Hedwig. She's much more than just a pet. She's one of Harry's dearest friends, and the epitome of every animal companion we wished we'd grown up with. I can't let you out, Hedwig. I'm not allowed to use magic outside of school. <laughs> Hedwig is further a symbol of Harry's childhood innocence, which makes it especially tragic when she... Well, we won't spoil that for you here. Sorry, Hedwig. Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite fictional owl? We're trying to seek the truth. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Now go away.